Hello, Rod Wilgus here again, coming with some good news. Do you ever find sometime that you need prayer support, but it's at a time or you're at a place where you can't reach anybody and you think that, man, if I had somebody else praying with me, things would be so much better. Or maybe you're in a crisis situation and the prayer that you have can only be helped by safe people that you can know and that you've really shared your life with, but you can't reach them. Well, the good news is Jesus is always there praying for us. Let me read this verse to you, Hebrews 7, 25. Therefore, Jesus Christ is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. The word intercede means that he is praying for you. He's always praying for you. Notice it said that he always lives to intercede, to pray for you in your time of need. So you are not alone. I'm also reminded in Romans chapter 8 where it says when, when we don't know how to pray, the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be understood. So we have Jesus praying to his Father for us, and we know that a lot of times in our prayers, we don't know what is God's will, but when Jesus prays for us, he always knows the Father's will. And then you have the Holy Spirit praying for us, and he knows our deepest needs. He knows what really needs to happen in our lives or, or whatever. But he even gets emotional about it. So you see, you've got the Trinity working for you. You got the Holy Spirit and the Son of God praying to the Father who answers their prayers. So I think that should give us great encouragement that we always have somebody praying for us. Does that lip mean that we shouldn't have prayer support here? Absolutely not. God says have prayer support. He says pray for one another. He wants us to do that. But at times when you feel like I just can't reach anybody and I'm all alone and nobody knows this, nobody's praying for me, just remember, Jesus is interceding for us all times. And when the going really gets rough, the Holy Spirit prays for us because he knows what we need. Father in heaven, may we celebrate, may we really trust and believe these passages that you do pray for the goodness and pray for the good for us and that we would depend upon you and that we would rest and relax and enjoy our walk, even though at times it's just so difficult. May we just trust in you. In Christ's name, amen. So the thing to do is maybe look up Hebrews 7, 25, and uh, write that down if you're ever worried about there's nobody praying for you. Well, that's it for today. Goodbye, see you later, and may you have truly good news every day of your life. Bye now.